Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to deploy a node based application. And for deploying our application, we'll use Azure DevOps. So, without wasting time, let's get started. As a prerequisite, uh, I'm assuming you're already aware of Azure Portal and uh, what is App Services. So, App Services is basically a path service of uh, Azure that will help you to. Uh, deploy your application and we'll also use Azure DevOps so I'm assuming you are aware of what pipelines are what is uh, CI pipeline and CD pipeline so basic understanding of continuous integration and con continuous delivery uh, is required here and even if you don't have uh, any knowledge on that if you follow this uh, tutorial from starting to end you'll be able to deploy your node based application so first of all uh, let me show you what is the application that i'm going to deploy so this is very simple application uh, this is a hello world kind of application hello world application for a node based application so let me run this and show you So as you can see, this application is up and running. Uh, but the objective for this video is to get this application deployed on App Service. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, uh, if you want to deploy any application, you need to have a build and you need to have a release. So for building our application, we'll go ahead and create a CI pipeline and for releasing our application we will have a release pipeline so I have just clicked on this uh, pipeline blade that you can see on a very left uh, left hand side uh, here I'll just go ahead and create a new pipeline so this is a, like a template that will have like a bunch of questions that you need to answer but uh, the approach that I'm going to take for this video is uh, defining your pipeline using the classic editor method so here at the bottom you can see a hyperlink that, sh that will uh, redirect you to the classic editor so you just have to click this use the classic editor and that will take you to this page here uh, the uh, first thing that they want to know is where is your code so you have like a couple of option here that you can define your code can be in azure repository your code can be in github or enterprise github or subversion bitbucket or any other kit uh, so my code is in github uh, let me also open that so this is that uh, code which we which we are going to deploy let's find our code here this is my repository I'll go ahead and say continue that will bring us to these uh, templates that are already there uh, we can look at these templates if there are any predefined templates that can help your uh, defining a pipeline but if not you can go ahead and create a sam very simple pipeline okay so what I'll do I'll just uh, use any of these and we can remove a couple of a couple of things from here so we want this um, npm install to run then we want to archive this uh, the files that are produced but before that we also want to copy these files to look for that uh, what we can do we can add a task here okay that should be fine uh, let's 
selected it from the top uh, whatever fields are there that are showing some some kind of uh, error message so here we have to define the agent pool I'll go ahead and select Azure pipelines here I'll choose Ubuntu the name for this pipeline would be JS no need to edit anything here we have to define command here and this will be working folder that contains package.json so you can also browse so as you can see there is uh, no folder structure here so I'll just skip the root so once the application gets build um, what I'm trying to do here is to copy this file to a particular location so I need all the JS files and all the JSON files and also you can see it's not making sense here to copying a file from same location to same location but uh, uh, in some cases you do have some use cases wherein you want to transfer your uh, files to a particular location so that can be used here this will create a zip file create and this will go ahead and drop so we are done uh, as you can see there was not much work needed and we'll go ahead and run this pipeline okay so this uh, pipeline has built our application just a few more insights if you are interested what we can do here we can check the artifacts that are generated as part of this process so if you click on this artifact you would see a drop folder wherein you will have this uh, zip file which is uh, your uh, build file for your application which will be used to release your application to the app service so this was um, all about CI let's create CD pipeline which is a release pipeline for our build so we'll click on this release plate that you can see on the right side and here is a new we'll go ahead and create a new release again uh, you would see a lot of uh, templates here if you find any template that is helpful for you go ahead and use that I'll use this one and let's say this is my dev staging so the first step is you have to connect your artifact that is produced as part of your build process so this is your project and you can select a source here from here mm, our pipeline was this one sample node.js here click on add this is done go ahead in the task and you can see a bunch of uh, error messages here you need to select your as a subscription then what is your app type I'll select Linux and app service name so we haven't created any app service yet so we'll go ahead to the Azure portal and quickly create one app service for our application so what you have to do you have to go to this website that is portal.azure.com here you can find this app service if not you can also search for it and you have to look for app services 
click on this create button choose subscription choose resource group if you don't have any resource group you can click on this create new I will name it as a node RG the name would be name can be sample node I'm going to publish code the run runtime stack is node I will go with the 14 LTS operating system Linux region I can go with East US uh, here we have SKU and sizing details I'll go with V1 which is um, 894 uh, INR per month I'll go ahead and select apply you can review all the information that you've entered and if everything looks good go ahead and click on create it should take a couple of minutes I guess one or two minutes and this will be created okay so as you can see our resource has been created let's have a look at our resource you can click on this browse to see if your resource is up and running or you can also go ahead and paste this URL okay I have a spelling mistake it became set okay nice okay so as you can see our application is up and running but our hello world application has not been deployed yet so come back to this uh, uh, pipeline where we are creating a release pipeline we'll copy the name from here and paste the name here where they want us to paste the app service name here here comes the most important one so here they are asking about the startup command so as you saw in the beginning of this video i started my application using npm command so i can type here npm start we'll go ahead and look for other information if they need so the agent that I'm that I want to use is uh, Azure pipelines and I guess everything looks fine to me let's save this and run this one So our pipeline is in QD state. Let's wait for some time. Yeah. Now we can see it has started to pick this up. These are the steps uh, that would be run one by one. So first one is initialize job, then download artifacts, and then we are deploying our artifact to Azure App Service. These are very helpful in debugging the issues. If you have uh, any sort of error in any of these tasks, you can click on the particular task and look out for logs. Okay, cool. So here we can see we haven't encountered any issues here. Let's go ahead and refresh this page. As you can see, our application is up and running. So that was all about this. I hope you have uh, got a fair idea 
uh, how you can deploy your node based application and if there are any issues or any questions feel free to drop me comment and i would love to answer them until next time bye bye